Hey, 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 everybody. What is going on? We are back in the bush. It is actually Sunday at it's 20 to 4. Um, just here, no cats, no nobody, just peace and quiet. Um, going to make my roast, or actually, no, I'm going to do a stew tonight. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any drywall up or not. I got to get the stove has been out right now. It's down to 16 degrees and here. It's cooling off and I kind of let it go in purpose because I'm going to get her cranking because I'm going to throw my Dutch oven with a uh, stew. I'm going to sit right top of the stove here for a while, see if I can cook that. Should be tasty. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do this evening. I'm just going to kind of hang around and gab a little bit maybe with you guys. Nice to have you all back. Um, if you want to like and subscribe to videos and hit the notification bell too and then when I post up something new you will get to see it as soon as it's up there so that's what people seem to want. Uh, I will get the stove fired up and then I am going to start cooking my, or sorry, I will get the stove fired up and then I'm going to start preparing my stew. So I've already got the stuff all peeled, cut the veggies all up and put it in the Dutch oven. I kind of cheated and I bought a spice mix to basically add into your stew. So it should be good. I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Well everybody, it is time for me to get my, my uh, stew going here. I've already got the Dutch oven on my stove and it is cranking. You can already smell the oil in it. She's getting hot really fast, so what I gotta do is cut up this stew beef in smaller chunks before I throw it in there and sear it a little bit, right? I don't want such big pieces. And it will cook faster that way, obviously. That oven is already quite hot. Just putting those pallets in there, burning, you wouldn't believe how fast that thing is getting really hot. So I'm definitely going to go back and get more. There's a raft of pallets. Some of them are big ones too. Some are like six foot big pallets. So they'd be really handy to have. Tear them apart even. Maybe use some of them for the actual material. And not burn them. Good free, uh, good free wood, pallet wood. Normally this time of year they're really hard to find because a lot of people are sourcing them out for heat too, right? So I'm just lucky I found a good place the other day. And uh, I drove by, I was picking up a snow thrower, actually my truck. One of my customers lives down in this area. And uh, I saw them there when I went by and I thought, yeah, by the time I go back in a day or so, they'd be gone. When I went back, there's more. <laughs> so there's quite a pile of them there. My luck when I get back first of the week, they'll be all gone. There's all kinds of them there. I only got eight or nine, and there was, my God, to be 30 or 40. Take this over and throw it in my Dutch oven. There we go, look at that. Sear this up a bit. To brown it. It's getting hot already, and that Dutch oven's only been sitting in there for 10 minutes. I just put it on the stove there. What an absolute difference having that uh, wood, all this pallet wood here. This stuff is wonderful, and that's all hardwood pallet wood again. So just that one chunk will burn for a long time. I only put three pieces of board size of this is all I put in there so far. And look at the bed of coals, look at the fire going on in there. Isn't that crazy? Getting right hot right quick. Very hot. So, it is the start of the stew. Alrighty, I'm going to start chunking up some of my veggies. I've already got these all peeled and I'm going to do them in fairly big chunks I think. I don't want them real small. So this will be just about right because I'm going to let this thing go for a while on the Dutch oven. And I got a seasoning mix to go in it also. So nice to have you guys hanging out back at the cabin. Give me some ideas in the comments what you guys would like to see. You know, I don't want to bore people. I, uh, sometimes you kind of don't know what you want to show. So it'd be kind of neat to have inputs from you guys, my subscribers, and new people also. 
So I'm going to put this stuff in a bowl, I think. So this all big chunkies in a bowl. Then I got a little cabbage there and a turnip. All has to go in. There we go. Cabbage. It's going to be good. Hope you're feeling better down there in Queensland there, Kez. Hope the COVID isn't hitting you too hard, buddy. Nice to see you and Sherry are friends now. Sherry. <laughs> it's so awesome to have you guys here. It really is. And you're going to have to come visit me, Sherry and Bill. Probably harder for Kez. I'm sure you guys can get here. I'm going to have to build you a little place out front. It'll be an Airbnb when you're not here. How's that? Turnip. The filler that everybody puts in stew and nobody really likes. Turnip. Something about it. And you know what? I actually don't mind eating it myself at all. I actually kind of like turnip. It's got a different flavor. Yeah, I'm glad I got to explain the tire studs there, Julia. I know you were kind of wondering what they were. My last video, showing all that stuff. Just putting a call out, some of my regulars. Because you guys are what this channel is all about. And you're why I do it. So, Not particularly big and watching myself on videos. I'm glad other people like to. So, just the way it is. Just the way it is. Look at that. This is going to be quite a stew, isn't it? Should have brought Fred and Daisy over and shared it with them. There. How's that? So much for that. Look at that, guys. That stuff is browning up quite nicely already. It's almost time to throw the water in, and I bought a spice packet for a stew and all the veggies, and then put the lid on her and let her go for a while. Well, here we go, guys. It is basically almost cooking this beef in here already, so i got to add the water to it. And i got a spice mix to put into it for beef stew. Actually, clubhouse beef stew mix, you guys can see. I'm going to put that in here. And probably a couple hours, I'm assuming. It's 20 after 4 right now. There we go. And then all the veggies. And there's all kinds of veggies. this up a bit first. Try not to hit that fan of my knuckles. <laughs> it might not feel real good. My eco fan. That'd be a Davy Dum Dum. Haven't done one in a while, you know. I hate to let you guys down, but I just haven't really done any massive screw-ups. <laughs> Bear with me, I will. That's just a given. Here we go, look at that. Yeah, you feel real good. Hit your knuckles on that. That thing's spinning pretty good right now. Ting. There. Put in the veggies. And look at that. Done deal. That cabbage will all break up in a while. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful. And it's going to be nice and warm in here. So it's already 20, 21 degrees. Put the lid on the Dutch oven and let her go. There we go. Well, I'm going to tell you what, guys, am I ever feeling adventurous today? I am also, with my dinner, going to bake a loaf of bread. So I need to get this stuff all ready right now. Actually, the bread, I think what I'm going to do is put it into rolls. Do some dinner rolls to go with my stew. Two tablespoons of butter. Into some warm water, cup and a quarter. I just went with a one loaf recipe I found online here. Two teaspoons of sugar, they say. 
hopefully this is going to melt in that I hope this is warm enough it's not very warm the water I'm using two teaspoons of sugar yeah, I don't know if that butter is going to melt into that I hope it does could be my first Davy Dum Dum break it up a little bit it might just a little bit there we go yeah, it's starting to melt these should be really tasty to go with that uh, stew and again if I do uh, rolls they'll cook a lot faster they say it takes about 50 minutes to do a loaf of bread so which I still could but I have to give this time to rise and everything now too right so but why not let's do something a little different here tonight make a basic loaf of bread recipe and make some rolls out of it if I can get this all to melt all the butter just melting now I should have made it a little warmer I guess the water oh well today's edition of Davy Dum Dum a failed bread loaf <laughs> this could be so who knows you never know what's gonna happen here because this is definitely not gonna be cooking with Sparky this show I'll tell you that three quarters of a teaspoon of salt so we're gonna put just some do it like the old dolls would do it. There you go. There's three quarters of a teaspoon. Works for me. It's like everybody's grandmother does. Pinch of this and a dash of that. Did anybody ever determine what the difference is between a pinch and a dash? Honestly. Pinch of this and a dash of that. How do you replicate that recipe? It's pretty hard. Yeah. And a smidge. Is a pinch bigger than a smidge or is a dash bigger than a smidge and a pinch? That's what I'm kind of wondering. And can you use a dash and a pinch of a smidge? So the yeast is going in. Now. And a tablespoon of flour with it. So what do you think? Is that a smidge or a pinch? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get this all stirred up. Let it sit five minutes and then the fun begins and then we gotta start putting flour into it. That's pretty decent. It's hard to believe already too the difference just from burning a couple pieces of pallet wood over here. Unbelievable difference of heat coming off the stove than what it is just burning spruce and that. Uh, the normal pallets I've been burning here lately. And this is already starting to bubble already. This yeast is gonna be good. All right, everybody, here we go. I got three and a quarter cups of flour in here, and here's my yeast mixture I took out. Now I've got to get it back into here and try to blend this all up and not make an absolute mess here. I'm good at that. Messy Dave. Get this all stirred in. Make a nice dough out of it. Hopefully it'll rise. Going to have some dinner rolls. That. with my stew well it's already coming right look at that there she is it didn't take long that didn't take long at all you get like that okay well what I'm going to do is put it on the counter here and knead it out a little bit I guess to mix it I don't know if you're supposed to put a little flour in here, I think is kind of the way I remember. Just in case it didn't stick to the counter here. Probably help. Get all this out of here. It's almost like pizza dough right there. I gotta add a little bit of. Uh, it's not quite enough flour, I don't think. Feels like pizza dough to me. Really sticky. Add a little bit more here. There you go. It's getting better already. Not as not as wet. better still needs a little more still really sticky hang on 
more flour, I think. And I am no bread expert in any way, shape, or form. Made a couple loaves here, and they come out pretty good. Just saying. This stuff is being a little ignorant. There we go. It's getting better. It's getting better. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's not too bad. Now. And that's getting better. Still sticking. Touch more. Touch more flour. off my hands all the blend in there that's getting better oh, yeah that's way better now guys that's what bread should feel like I think I can work it now that was sticking my hands to bed from what I remember last time I made it there we go look at that I'm not sticking to the plastic anymore I'm not sticking to my hands perfect Look at that. Bada boom, bada bing. Well, there's my bread. All mixed up. And I'm going to put that in the pan, in the uh, bowl. Let it rise. And then you have to knock her down, I guess. Let it rise again, and then I'll make some rolls out of it. So there you go. Bread with Dave. <laughs> How's that? Let's do a check on my stew here, guys, and see how it's looking so far. Oh, look at the steam. This is all falling apart already. Oh, my goodness. It's just boiling in there. Literally. Boiling. I wonder. I need to add more water, too. That's not near enough water. That is not No, It's almost like a gravy already in there. That's not near enough water. That stew's acting like it's cooking fast, because I can already get a fork in those uh, carrots. I definitely have to add a bunch more water though. That's not nearly enough. Because the vegetables are sucking all the water in. That's better. It only called for three quarters of a cup of water with that uh, spice mix. And I've got probably four cups, but I think I have a lot more vegetables in this stew than what they called for. So there you go. That's a little more under control. Get this cabbage to all break up. And oh, I just hit the fan. <laughs> There we go. You literally say shit hit the fan. <laughs> All right. I'm the first one to say it about myself. Everybody else will say it after. So. Wow. You guys want to see this friggin' stew? It looks wonderful. And my bread rose nicely. I had to take it off the burner just for now. Check that out. How good is that? I took it off the stove because this is almost done. And I have to get my rolls on. It took a while to get the bread to rise. So what I'm going to do is put this back on the oven. Once the rolls are probably risen and back in. So my bread is all here, you can see. She rose up quite well. That uh, come pretty good for what I put in there. So now I have to knock it down, right? and make my rolls. They say you can make a dozen out of this. I'm supposed to keep them all the same size, I know, because these are going to bake probably faster than these ones, but, you yeah, know, this ain't a cooking show. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about it. Alrighty, I can let these rise just for a little bit, and they will be ready to go in the oven. Well, 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 here we go, everybody. These look awesome. Kind of more like hamburger buns than actual rolls, but look at that. Got them to rise a little bit. They're going in the oven here now. These are going to taste so good. I'm thinking a half hour, probably, is what they're going to take. That just fits in there. Isn't that nice? Look at that in there. How cool is that? Whoops. There is my dinner rolls ready to bake. Twenty after six, and what I'm also going to do is, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put my Dutch oven back on the stove now. 
because it will top it up and heat it up a little more. It's still quite hot, but I don't know if the carrots are quite finished yet, so we're going to put that back on too. There you go. Time to let everything cook for about another half hour. These rolls in here look amazing already. Look at these guys. They've already uh, risen. Whoops. Uh, they've already risen quite a bit, but they're not uh, even browning yet, so I have to kind of keep the door shut on them. But they're looking amazing. These are going to be really, really tasty. My dinner rolls. You guys, wait until you see this. This is pretty much, I'm thinking, dinner roll perfection in here. For a guy that fixes lawnmowers for a living, how's that? <laughs> are these ever going to be good? Wait until you see my stew that is still on the stove and literally boiling away big time right now. This stuff is going to taste even better. Check this out. Look at this. Huh. If I had smell-o-vision, I'm telling you, would I ever love to sm let you smell this? You guys want to see what this smells like? Just a boiling. Time to put her on the plate. Talk to you in a bit. Well, there you go, everybody. How is that for dinner? This stew is going to be amazing. It's nuclear hot right now. I can't even touch that right now. These, I'm proud of these bad boys. I'm not a baker, but these rolls come out. I wish I'd smell a vision because it smells amazing in here. I'm going to kick back and enjoy my dinner, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Well, good morning again, everybody. It is Monday morning in the bush. I hate to get out of here, but I do. Real life is calling me, I guess. Got a garage with some equipment in it. Got to do a bit of small engine repair and get a few things tied up this week. Got to get some winter tires on my car. Um, supper was amazing. That stew came out so good. Man, oh, man. That just melted in your mouth when I ate that. The beef broke right up, just like... It's uh, hard to believe what tender everything was, so the rolls were really good, too. I left them out overnight. It was kind of stupid. I should have put them in a plastic bag. Now they're just like hockey pucks. So I don't think they're going to be much good for anything else. I'll probably put them outside and feed them to the squirrels and the birds. But again, it's Monday, 20 after 10. Got to get out of here. Got to head home and uh, get back to the real world. But I hope, man, I didn't even get any drywall up this weekend. But I did get all this pallet wood cut up and just kind of enjoyed myself and the, you know, the peace of serenity of the whole place. Wonderful to have all you guys here again, as it always is. And, you know, hit the little box on the bottom if you want to you know, subscribe to the videos. And then anytime I post something new, you, you know, hit your notifications. It'll show you when I put up a new video. So I guess I'll cut this one off for now. And Lord willing, I'll be back here next weekend at the latest and maybe wrestle some more drywall up. And I won't bore you guys with too much of that. I'll just kind of show you step by step as I you know, get a sheet up or whatever. I'll do a quick little rundown. And again, I will talk to you guys very soon. You know, if you do nothing else, just try to live simply, remain grateful, and you know, be kind to somebody today. We'll talk to you soon.